All right, welcome back to Pharmacist on Call, your one-hour opportunity to get those burning questions out about health care. We're going to get right back into your calls right now on line two. We've got Sharon. Sharon, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Hello, Sharon? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yeah. Um, first of all, uh, I want to give you just a little bit of history, but I've, I've been on Paxil okay. for, uh, oh gosh, 25 years or so. Yes, ma'am. They, <clears throat> on 40 milligrams. Okay. Okay. Well, I was having problems, so they tried to raise it to 60. Well, I started getting my hands shook and all that. I said, well, I can't, I can't take 60 milligrams. Mm -hmm. So they prescribed another drug called uh, Melify. Okay. Okay. When I went to get it filled, it's over $600 a month. I am... Um, uh, Medicare. I'm uh, uh, 68 years old, and I can't possibly afford that drug. Uh, is there any avenue that I have? Because they're very hesitant about prescribing drugs here in Jackson, Tennessee. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> And uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do because I'm still, I did everything they told me to do. I went to them, then they kept me in a hospital there for about five days running tests and doing all they, they thought they needed to do and let me out. Well, they let me out with, I take the Cetapril because I do have a little, only five milligrams. Because okay. it's blood pressure, I think it's just caused by stress. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of anxiety along with being a depressive, uh, clinical depressive. And I, I, is there any avenue for me? Uh, they won't give me anything else. Um, and I have been this way for a long time. Okay. So, so let me ask you this. All right. So they changed from Paxil to Abilify. And so you're telling me you're a Medicare patient and the Abilify is still $600? Yes. Uh, the, the Paxil, I still take because it's 40 milligrams. I've been taking it for over 20 years. Yes, ma'am. And um, it, it's all right, but I just can't take a higher dosage of it. Yeah, 40 is the highest I would go on that anyway. I wouldn't... Yeah, you know. yeah it just makes me shaky. It makes me feel really um, not good. Okay? Okay, so... so they prescribe the Abilify along with it. Were you having trouble sleeping? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Could you stay up I, days at a time? Uh, I can sleep. Boy, when I lay down, I, you know, I'm like dead because I'm running off anxiety all the time. Mm -hmm. So I go right to sleep, but I wake up, and then every about every two hours during the night, I wake up. Okay. Of course, I'm older, and I have to go to the bathroom if I wake up and all this kind of stuff. Yes, ma'am. And I don't know what to do. All right, so let's 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 look at the, so the issue is going to be you and the pharmacy. So we need to find out if Medicare is paying for any of that medication. No. None. Okay. So not. So what they need to do is the pharmacy needs to call your doctor. Your doctor needs to call Medicare and explain that you need this medicine because you've tried other medications and this is the only thing that works for you. So it's called a prior a prior authorization. So this is for medications that are really expensive, like Abilify. If your doctor makes a valid case to Medicare, they will approve this medication. But just up front, they would not like to pay for an Abilify runs just for me to get it in my store, runs over $1,000. So I, well, I know yeah. it's, it's terribly expensive. Yes, ma'am. Uh, well, I'm thinking there's some uh, other things they could try on. I went back. I went back yes, to uh, Pathways here in Jackson. 
soon. I said, well, okay. I can't afford this. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And I said, is there anything else that you can give me other than that? Okay. And I had this doctor tell me, well, I think you'd get my five without it. Well, I went through all these stages of being admitted to the hospital, having to wait five days to get out. So I said, you know, get my medication. That that was a rule, just that. And I think they just work in Medicare, if you want to know the truth about it, because now I'm right back where I started from. Okay, so they used Abilify in the hospital to kind of get you settled down? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, that has a generic now, so I would ask them if they won't pay for the brand, will they pay for the generic? They have a generic? Yeah. I thought it was so new that maybe they didn't have it. New, ma'am. Yeah, Bill Fies generic. Okay. Well, maybe that wouldn't be so expensive then. Well, thank you so much for It's talking. still expensive. It's just whether or not Medicare will cover it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. You're welcome. All righty. Bye-bye. All right. Line four, we've got Deborah. Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes. Um, I'm, a, I'm a patient with um, hyperlipidemia. And at, um, what, did you say? what was the condition, ma'am? Hyperlipidemia. Okay. All righty. At the, at the chronic genetic, the genetic Oh, okay. Cholesterol problem. Yes, ma'am. With the body, and I can't take statin drugs. Okay. Um, so they found this other one I can take. It's phenylfibrate. Mm hmm. Um, name brand on it was Tricor. Yes, ma'am. Well, recently we've been working with my new um, updated prescription. Yes, ma'am. And I want to get the phenylfibrate pill. And uh, Tim Care kicked it out. He didn't want to pay for the phenylphibrate. But he came right up and said, hey, we'll pay for that tricorp. It's $140 more than the phenylphibrate. And uh, the pills, they're the exact same size, color, shape, all the grooves, the writing on them, everything. I could get them mixed up, smooth. <laughs> yeah, I agree, and that. that yeah. Well, I'm uh, trying. I have. I turned in on a peel on it because my regular pharmacy didn't want to eat that 140 dollars that the insurance didn't want to cover on it. Yeah, that, I, that's I found very another odd. pharmacy that did, but it shouldn't have to be that way because I always ask for the generic. Sometimes Tim Care. Figure out why Tim Care wants to pay for that more expensive pill but it's just a different bottle with a different label on it. It's got the same pill. Yeah, and that's the same case with the Abilify that the lady was talking about in the call before uh, and even the Adderall for the children who have ADHD. I'm not sure what the financial arrangement is that the insurers will want to pay for the grossly more expensive drug versus the least expensive generic. So yeah, I... Yeah, mine's with Magellan. Oh, Magellan, yeah, yeah, they're, they're taking care of um, uh, PBM, Pharmacy Benefit Manager. Well, I can't understand why Tencare wants to pay for the name brand. It's so generic on this thing. Yeah. They're doing the same thing. They're doing the exact same thing. It slows down the progress that the cholesterol clogs up my arteries. They can't, re they can't reverse it. They have never been able to reverse it. They slow it down. That's it. Yes, ma'am. It's not experimental. It does show some progress from time to time. But from what I've understood, the state usually has a plus if you don't ask for your generic. Well, I agree. Uh, yeah, it, it puzzles me as well. That's the same co Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Same company. Yeah. It's just, you know, I've, I've set, I've got, they've gotten set up for a hearing coming up later in the month. Okay, we'll wish you luck on that and hopefully they're gone and approve it for you. Yeah, I want to know why does the state want to throw all that extra money around when they don't have to. Yeah, they they would never tell us. So that's not that's the only medicine I'm on every month. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, good luck, ma'am. 
Yeah, I, I thank you much, and um, maybe somebody else will know what's up with some of this. Um. <laughs> okay, all right, you have a good evening. You too, sir. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. All righty, bye-bye. All right, everyone, we are up on a break. Stay right there. We'll be right back in a minute. 